For women with estrogen receptor positive advanced breast cancer, blockade of the estrogen receptor signaling pathway is a common therapeutic strategy. But resistance to hormonal blockade may occur, and therefore new approaches are needed. Cyclin-dependent kinases, or CDKs, are involved in regulating cell cycle progression, and CDK4-6 is associated with endocrine resistance in breast cancer and growth factor signaling through the estrogen receptor and other mitogens. Palbociclib, a small molecule inhibitor of CDK4-6, has been shown to be safe in combination with endocrine therapy, such as letrozole. The International Phase III double-blind PALOMA-2 study randomized 666 postmenopausal women with ER-positive HER2-negative advanced breast cancer and included patients with visceral or bone metastases, or both. Patients had no prior treatment for metastatic cancer and were randomized to receive either palbociclib and letrozole or placebo and letrozole. The primary endpoint was median progression-free survival, which was 24.8 months in the palbociclib letrozole group as compared with 14.5 months among those treated with placebo letrozole. The hazard ratio, 0.58, was statistically significant. More grade 3 and 4 adverse events were reported in the palbociclib letrozole group. 66% of patients had neutropenia, 5% had anemia, and 37% experienced fatigue of any grade. Febrile neutropenia occurred in 1.8% of patients in the palbociclib letrozole group and in none of the patients in the placebo letrozole group. The risks of myelotoxicity were higher in patients treated with palbociclib, but were ameliorated by dose reductions and delays. The authors conclude that in the first-line setting for ER-positive HER2-negative advanced breast cancer, palbociclib in combination with letrozole resulted in longer progression-free survival than letrozole alone. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.